I like light. What is it lit by? Is it firelight? It's like the same type of light that's above you. Oh, the moonlight. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. Moonlight. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it looks like it's from a different source entirely, not from the rotunda up above. Sure. Okay. All right. You walk into the furthest hall from the stairs. Peeking in, you see the scenery shift greatly. The walls, ground, and ceiling all made of the same crystal seen above you, though it looks to be wound extremely tight. You see a grand hall, 40 feet wide, as it explodes out from the archway, with ceiling 60 feet tall at least. The material shimmers like diamonds, though it looks strange, like looking at silk through a powerful magnifying glass. Hundreds of strands of crystal web wound to create the space all around you. You see pillars stretching to the ceiling on either side. They look to have been woven, not cut, partially see-through and gorgeous. Above you, you see a similar sight to the ceiling of the rotunda, a mess of crystal webbing that allows for a strange moon-like light to shine down into the space. Though in this space, the light reflects off every surface you can see, creating a slightly overwhelming and awe-inspiring experience. Under your feet, you see a well-kempt rug of fine make, a light purple with platinum lining and red streaming designs running through it. This rug leads between all the pillars and to an extremely long stretch of stairs of the same material. At the top, you see a throne, mm -hmm. a large throne that seems to grow from the floor. The sinews of its creation flow off of it like, like a thousand strings gently wafting in the draftless air. The back comes to a gruesome point and eight gorgeously crafted crystal spikes curl and bend from its back, extending many feet from its boundaries. Behind the throne, you see a carved out, carved out swath of the strange material. And on either side, you see two large statues carved into the crystal webbing, two fully armored Arolandish women bowing, but not towards the throne, but to what appears behind the throne, diagonally facing towards the back of the throne room. Looking back behind the throne, you see a carving of a goddess, mm. the goddess of torture herself, oh my goodness. looming above the throne with a look of pleasure upon her face each of her eight eyes glowing in a fiery red from the rubies they appear to be made from. 